So a patient started on a daily dose of a medication. The medication's volume of distribution is 100 and the clearance is 60 liters per day. When would the steady state be reached? Okay, so I have volume of distribution and I have um, the clearance. So I know whenever I have volume of distribution and I have clearance, I can always get the elimination rate constant, right? So 60 liters and watch out that it's 60 liters per day. It's not hour here. Again, watch for your units. So 60 liters per day divided by volume distribution of 100 liters. So the unit of time in the test uh, in this question is day and it's not hour. Just pay close attention. Okay, so now I have the elimination rate constant. I can obtain the T half. What's the T half? 693 by 0.6 uh, day. So this is my T half is 1.15 day. So now I'm looking for the steady state. Which equals, as we said, five half lives. So five multiplied by 1.1. So uh, it will take five. 0.75 days to reach the steady state okay so where I got this 5 because I know it takes 5 half lives to reach steady state now what would be a proper loading dose to reach a C max of 2 micrograms per liter if the medication bioavailability is 0 0.7 so we know that the loading dose equals the desired concentration multiplied by the volume of distribution divided by the Bay availability so I have two two micrograms per liter and I know that my volume of distribution is 100 liters, right? And all this is going to be divided by 0.7. So the loading dose, it will be 285 